All right. Here we go. Good evening, everybody. It is the season finale of Divination Night. We have had 13 amazing readers this season and i am so excited for us to finish up get a little bit of a break and come back at the end of the end of the year for season two we'll talk a little bit about that later but right <laughs> now i have asa knight with me thank you very much for joining and helping with all of this oh not a problem honey not a problem i enjoy doing these lives we want to do a lot more lives mm -hmm. but it's been fun coming and watching getting to know a few different of the readers um getting there yes amy you can i do need your birth date and a specific question honey okay so so everybody um in, in case you are unfamiliar um and we have 15 minute increments um, if there's a, a specific reader that you want, I do have a list of all the readers. If there's a specific reader that you want a reading from, put it in the comments. We'll take care of it. Um, but, uh, if, if you ask for a reading during and don't specify, then the reader that's up during that time will get your, will get your reading for you. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is how we're finishing it off. <laughs> yes, this is how we're going to finish it off. It's not going to be the normal reunion tour. Nobody's allowed to storm out. <laughs> um, nobody's allowed to go dancing off the moon. Um, we are not getting any federal officers at our reunion. <laughs> um, let me is, see. Nobody's I am not Jerry up. Springer. Huh? I am not Jerry Springer. No, honey. Do you want you watch any of the reunions? You know, there's I'll always the alcoholic. Huh? There's always the alcoholic. At least one. <laughs> the business mogul that gets into legal trouble. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, Amy has a, her question. Yep. Is moving to Utah a good idea? All right, Amy. Let's see how Utah looks for you. So let's take a fan reading, shall we? I always love a good fan. All right. So, Amy, you, looking at it, moving to Utah, I don't think is a really good idea. I feel like you got to come back a little west. A little east, I'm sorry. Here's why I say it's not a good idea. I think you'll get a lot of entrapment there. Okay, you'll be really hard on yourself. It'll be really tight. You're at a more relaxed pace. You're looking to calm down. You need to focus at what you want. And I feel like that that'll probably put you somewhere into the mid east. My advice is take a deep soul search and find your passion and then let that decide where you want to live. All right. So, All right. So up next, we have Miss Anne Marie. Anne Marie wants a love reading, I see. Okay. <clears throat> yes, it has been a great season, and it wouldn't have been if it wouldn't have been for you all. You yeah. all have been wonderful. Okay, guys, I need specific questions if we're going to get through these. A love reading isn't a specific question. I'm going to do one to show you why it's not a specific question and why it takes so long, but I really need you guys to hit in with real with real questions. Missy and Doris, I got you listed. Now, remember everybody, uh, Asen's not the only reader. We've got six readers tonight. Yes. Once my time's up, the next one's coming up and taking over where you're at. Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, Joanna, I'm sure I'm sure it's okay. I think I shared it there too. All right. So where are we at? Anne Marie. Yes, yeah, she's just wanting a plain love reading. Okay. All right. Of course, we're gonna go with again the fan spread. Anne Marie, love in general, very general. You've got emotional issues you're carrying around. There are opportunities around you, but you got to figure out what to do with them. 
I do feel like there's something new starting for you, but you got to make sure not to take the baggage in from the past. You need to go have fun. Forget love. Just date for a little bit. Um, and I feel like you're still healing over some cheating. Okay, so everybody, please remember when you ask for a reading, we need your date of birth. So make sure you put that in the comment as well. Yes. Um, okay, uh, Missy. Um, yeah, Missy's up next. And I didn't see where she had a question. She says, I have a question. It will be okay. Okay. All right. Right, Shannon. No, no drama reunion. <laughs> yeah. All right. So it looks like Heidi's ready. Let's take care of Heidi. Okay. And then we'll get back to Missy because I didn't see Missy's question. Okay. Uh, Heidi, I'm always having a dream where I'm walking through a mist filled woods within, which to me seems like an unclear future ahead. Uh, 9478. Looking at it, I'm not going to use cards for this. I'm going to talk dream interpretation. It feels to me like you're still trying to figure out what's going on in your mind. The forest represents opportunities. The mist is the confusion you have there. I would really work on setting your goals a little bit more clearer and also focusing on what you want. Okay. Great. All right. Uh, so Missy's got her birth date up seven six seven five sixty nine. Uh huh. And her her question was, "Will it be okay?" And that's what she said. Said, "I have a, a question. Will I be okay?" Will you be okay? That's a whole different situation here. Mm. Well, let's take a look here, honey. All right, so you're starting something new. You've got to get rid of the old first. Um, you may have to do that diplomatically. You will be okay. However, I want to point out, if you don't learn to take care of yourself, I'm going to send you over to Gwen and make her teach you a class. <laughs> well, she says, she says she's sick right now. She said, will I make it through this? Yes, you'll make it through it. You'll make it through it fine. You've got to, however, take care of yourself. You're running yourself down on both ends, emotionally and physically, and that's why we're sick. So deal with that. You'll get through it. You'll be fine. You'll actually feel better when you're done. Emily, yes, come back and see us because we've got some, some great readers coming up. This lineup from this season has just been phenomenal. I mean, and everybody has been so great and so kind Mm -hmm. And I mean, we've had everybody from brand new beginners to seasoned readers, mm -hmm. such as yourself. Yes, we have. We okay. have. Uh, Doris. So we've got eleven fifteen seventy nine. I'm looking to see if she had a question. Um, no, she just a general reading. All right, Doris. Let's see what the cards have to tell you. 11-15-79. Mm. All right, Doris, here we go. Right now you're trying to be the rescuer. You're chasing off to things. you got to watch it that doesn't enslave you, tie you down, because you've got money opportunities you need to be taking on. All right. Okay, so we have Natasha. Uh-huh. Uh, one thirteen ninety is the guy I'm trying to help by the goodness of my heart, just letting me is just using me and just telling me what he thinks I want to hear. Did I read that right? <laughs> you did. <Yeah>. Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah. All right. Natasha, you ain't gonna like this. Sorry, honey. I'm going to warn you now. I'll give it to you as I get it. It's playing you for the fool. You're trying to be tempered about it. It's going to awaken that bulldog fuck-off state. 
and you're going to take back what's yours. Good. All right, uh, Christy, yes, just uh, put your birth date, and if you have a question, put it in the comments. So, Asen, why don't you give give us a little bit of an update as to what you've been up to since all last week was your last appearance on the show? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been up to a lot, and <laughs> because I'm normally up to a lot. Um, let's see, I host the Psychic Coffee Shop every Tuesday night. I host the Mountain Bears, which you guys are seeing this over there, every Friday night, both at 9.30 to 11, 11.30, depending on how we get there. Um, well, and then also I'm launching a new, pro a new project. This is not going to be a by-the-clock one. This is going to be a pop-up one. It's called Coffee Chat because we have a lot of people. We have, like, the optimist that I didn't even know he's going to be on later. He reads a network, does a lot of more stuff than, you know, we see him at. There's a lot of interesting people that I want to just sit down and have coffee with and bring you guys along. So instead of filling a Starbucks up, I'm going to take the camera and set them up on the other side of the camera. And we're going to have the coffee shop. Uh, um, we're going to have a coffee shop conversation. So there's that. I'm working on doing a virtual psychic fair with some of the great psychics in West Virginia with Lady Gwen to benefit Pagan Pride. That is going on. I'm teaching a Candle Magic Basics class. Later in May, I'm getting that ready. Of course, I'm already running my 101 and my 102 Wiccan students. Um... So, yeah, I do a lot. And then, oh, yeah, you know, I've got clients internationally over on Keen.com, private clients internationally. So I'm a big time, you know, fast, fast pace. Matter of fact, before the show, I was putting together my planner for the next six months. And I ain't even got half the sections in yet, guys. So you guys really need to go hop over, like my stuff, like the channel you're watching us on so you can keep up with it. Yes. Yes. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> yeah, stay There's tuned. There's always for something. More. I'm between between me and you. There's there's always something happening. Well, between me and you, we need a production team, okay? I really think it's time to get the Witches of West Virginia reality show. Yeah, really. You know, I'm so gonna... Hollywood, come on, step up here. Let's talk. Yes, candle magic, fun. Yes. yes. Yeah, I was looking forward to a lot of really cool stuff. Right, because I teach a lot of classes. I teach candle magic, pendulums, Wicca 101, Wicca 101 intensive, Wicca year and a day, Wicca year and a day two, Terror 101, Terror 102. Um, I have the stuff for it, and I teach a numerology class. And I'm developing a second astrology class, and I'm developing a Thoth tarot class. So, yeah, I am a little bit busy. Dottie says she's in. Yes. One yeah. more. Yeah, she's in. She's going to be in. I'm, yeah, uh, she's going to be in tomorrow night, actually, with me with, con or with Coffee Talk. We're going to be talking shop, you know, because she recently took this into um, – <laughs> My production team just thinks they're funny. Um, apparently, we, they require them to provide their own whipping chair. That's fine. Just remember, um, in my other life, I do, did used to teach how to use a whip. So, Natasha says, so should I still help him or no? That's your choice. Um, because it's your heart, your desires there. But I would not be helping him more than it takes for away from you. I do sleep. I sleep a whole four and a half hours a day in the mornings when everybody's getting busy and going to work. And then I normally take a nap. Oh, thank you, Joanna. So thank Rowan you. Temple of Light. And that's how I know y'all are my peeps. <laughs> thank okay. you. I've been very overwhelmed with with love lately 
and and support and and everything so i'm really excited um up next is the optimist and then alicia will be on at 8 30. Mm -hmm. um 8 45 we have a little bit of a few things to discuss Dottie the psychic will be here at 9 p.m 9 15 we've got jennifer 9 30 sacred yana is going to do a collective reading for us and at 9 45 we've got sarah snodgrass so stay tuned Yep, and I'll be popping back in and out and, you oh, know, yes. aggravating her. <laughs> somebody, it's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it, right? Well, honey, you know, you being the Wicked Witch of West Virginia, me being the Voldemort of West Virginia, we got to get into some crap. There are some like, hot topics we want to take on. But I do want to take this one last question, and then Optimus can come up. Okay. Um, that is Shannon's question. Okay, let me let me scroll back up here for it. La, 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 la. Sorry about this, y'all. Okay, uh, 82883. I've got a lot of changes and potential changes coming in my life. Am I getting in over my head or will things work out? And did your shirt come yet? My shirt did come. It's headed to the wash because it's got something in it that I have. All new clothes for me has to be washed. As soon as it gets washed, you'll see it on screen. Um, who knows? I might even do video, uh, other videos in it. All right. So let's look at the potential. You're walking away from stuff. It's a change in your personality. So you're going to have to be strong with it. Take some time to reflect on what you learned in this stage so you can move forward. Hold on to what you got, but keep on some more, meaning hold on to your finances. Be very smart with them. Read your details of contracts and stuff correctly. And then, of course, keep your money in account. Don't go overspending. With that being said, do I think that these potentials is great? Do I think you're getting in over your head? No. I think you're going to be sailing above where you're at. Oh. All right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Sorry, I was catching up. Uh, they're talking about uh, love the music because I've been sharing my TikToks. Some of them have been leaking over onto Facebook because I keep forgetting when I share them onto Instagram. Sometimes it automatically goes if you don't slide that button. So some of me shaking it. <laughs> hey, you know, you've got witch and dancing. You should have that up and rocking. Yeah, I yeah. am the dancing witch. I've got like three series going on TikTok right now. So, uh -huh. all right, let's bring up the optimist. Hello. Hello. Hi. hello. Thank you so much for, for having me. It's good to be here. Oh, lovely. So very happy for you to be here. I love anything that we can do to bring you and make you a part of anything. Oh, it's always because you always bring such light and such good feelings oh, to everything. Thank you so um, much. I really appreciate that. Who do we got today, Gwen? So right now, um, I'm gonna let y'all know he's got the, he's using the Light Seers Tarot. So if you would like a reading from the Optimist, please comment your. Um, <laughs> Joanna's like Zach. This is so, the Light Seers Tarot that I, that I'm working with here. It's a Chris and deck. If you guys are interested in tarot, then I recommend this deck. It's really great. And then it has like, it says the at the top there, but it looks like Theo, Theo, the optimist, right? It's like they made this deck for me. So it's like, uh, it's really, it's a softer, it's softer, I think, than uh, some of the other decks, but it's, um, it has a really great way of kind of speaking to, to the core. Like you just look at the picture and you really get a vibe for for what it's going on. So I hope, I hope we've got some folks that would love to have some card messages from the light seers tarot today. Oh, okay. Um, it's okay um, if there's not. Cause oh, I, no, no, I've got two readings for you, for you ready. Um, I, if the production team could look, um, there is an issue somebody can't access, but I don't, I can't tell who it is. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So for us, uh, First is Christy, 10, 7 of 81. So let me see if she has a question because I can't remember. 10, 7. Christy, no. Is that Christy? Yes, she's, it's your friend. 
Oh, great, Christy. So this is uh, ten seven. That's a Libra energy, right? Libra Sun. Those yes. those those folks air energy very difficult to pin these people down. They are uh, really great about fairness. They always want things to be fair. They are big on relationships, right? A, a, a Libra part of their um, part of their own identity is kind of tied to their connection with another person. So if, if a Libra is in a relationship with someone and that other person goes away for a period, they're gonna feel a little more lost, I think, than, than other people do. Does Christy have a specific question she wanna ask or you just wanna go she general? Asked, she asked, will he, will he ever love me? Will he ever love me? Oh, Christy, let me, let me just look at that. Let me, let me just look at that. Huh. So when I turned that over, right, I pulled a five of swords. Now, this is one of the things about Chris Ann's Lightseer's Tarot is she does crows instead of swords with her deck. So this this looks like, yeah, yeah, he might love you one day, but it's going to be a headache. It's going to be a headache. Look at this. He's got he's just kind of grabbing his head. Now, here's the thing about the five of swords. Five of swords is about self-interest. It's about doing what you got to do for you. And I feel like, yeah, maybe he'll love you, but you're going to have to sacrifice yourself way beyond what you're really comfortable with in terms of of making that work so when i when i see this energy and then yeah maybe he will but but do you really want to i want i want to ask you you know what what's going on internally so let me do a three-step plan for you christy this is going to give you just a gen it's general love advice like we can we can talk about him all day but but if you're going to go out for any kind of relationship you always want to do the self-work because the work that you do on yourself is going to make you infinitely better for the next person that you bring along in your life. So let's just do a little three-step plan. Step one for you, Christy, in terms of relationships, you get bored. You get bored so fast. Like this is a four of cups and it's reversed. And the four of cups, because, because it's reversed, the reversal says to me in my three-step plan, you need to pull back on this energy. This isn't helpful. The four of cups is about self-absorption. It's about going within. It's about just apathy, full on, I don't give a moon, you know. And so because it's reversed, though, your step one is to not allow yourself to get bored so quickly. Your step two, Christy, your step two, we're looking at a reversed seven of cups. Now, the seven of cups is about options. It's dissipation. It's wishful thinking. You look at him, he's thinking very contemplatively about which of these cups he's going to look at. He's looking for the right one. And there's one there. You can see it's a little different from all the others. It's that red one kind of there. He's just looking. It's like, where, where's the magic ball? Which cup is it under? But because it's reversed, we got to look at this and be like, you know what? Maybe we don't have that many choices. Maybe right now we don't really have those options available to us. So maybe if we kind of pull back on that energy right now, at least for right now, because hello, we're in a pandemic. The dating scene isn't exactly hopping right now. You know what I'm saying? So embrace that and be okay with it. That's your step two. Step three, we're looking at a three of wands. The three of wands represents a vision. It represents leadership. Hold on. Is it three or is it two? Yeah, it's three. It represents leadership. It represents uh, having a vision. It, 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 it is you know, uh, foresight. Yeah, it, it's embracing the, the plan of what's going to happen. So if your step one is to just not get bored with everything and your step two is to recognize there aren't as many choices, step three is to kind of embrace the long-term planning, right? Maybe you create some, some self-work plans for yourself three months down, six months down, nine months down, make it some personal uh, personal vision, personal goals for yourself. So once you start to do the work on yourself, the relationship situation will work. Don't get hung up on just a guy. If you're waiting around for somebody like, will he ever love me? Honey, move on. You don't have to beg for love. If it is meant to be, it will happen. That's all I have for you, sweetheart. Take a deep breath. Inhale. <laughs> And exhale slow. Thank you so much, Christy, for letting me connect with your energy. I really appreciate it. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And that Libra energy we were just talking about, will he ever love me? Because he loved you at one point, you feel like because that's missing, the other half of yourself is missing. But I'm telling you, it's not. 
it's not, but you're going to feel that way because that's how that Libra sun works on people. The sun is at its detriment in Libra. So every, it, it's at its detriment in Libra. So every Libra sun person is going to have those kind of issues with relationships. It's not your fault. It's not your fault, but you can grow past it. And I'm sending you a lot of love. Wow. <clears throat> That was a lot. <laughs> but it was so it was so heartwarming. I loved it. Okay, so uh, I'm getting an extensive list here. It might run over into into uh, into Alicia because she'll be coming up next. Um, well, I won't like, take too much of her time. If people want to scoop me up, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't want to eat it. Well, we are going fun. as long as you've got time, darling. And whoever's left will get moved on to the, to the next. Okay. All right. I'm going I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use up as much as your time as, as I'm allowed. <laughs> no problem. Okay. So, uh, let me scroll back up here. Uh, my Amy, nose is itching, so I'm I'm sure there there might be some some trolling that's happening somewhere that we can't see. Like whenever my nose starts to itch, that's usually an indication on my other venues that I'm about to get trolled. Oh, it's a pretty good indicator. So it's just okay. We our, have a fantastic behind the scenes love with it. a magic wand that loves to bibbity boppity boop. Love it. I call it housekeeping. Housekeeping block. <laughs> no, we are good. Okay, so Amy wanted a, just a general reading. Um, 6-17-76. 6-17-76. Yes. 6. So she's going to be a cancer love. Cancers are very emotional people. They feel things very deeply, very important to the home. The home is hugely family, very important to a cancer sun sign. So what I'm going to do for you, just kind of a general reading, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the three-step plan. So whatever's going on in your life, this is going to speak to that. That's That's our goal here. Same thing. If it's reversed, we want to pull back on the energy. If it's upright, we want to usher it in. Our step one, temperance. It's ironic. I'm going to do a quick plug for Mountain Mystic real quick. Uh, there's a, a Facebook group called the Mountain Mystic. We do lots of learning. We get to share our spiritual gifts and talents. We get to learn from each other. It's a really great group. If you're interested in learning and expanding your talents, you can totally check that out. This is the card that I'm working on right now in the mountain mystic, but it's just taking me forever to get the post together. So this is temperance. Your step one is to embrace temperance. Temperance is about balance. It is about combination. It, it, when things are moving too slow, we want to speed them up. When things are too cold, we want to heat them up. It's too fast, slow it down, etc. We want to temper the situation. If we're just angry and hot all the time, what can we do to temper the situation? Breathe, calm down. Like that's what we want to do. So your step one, whatever's going on in your life is to bring balance to it, right? Don't let yourself take on the extreme. What was her name again? This is Amy. Amy, Amy, Amy. Thank you so much for letting me connect your step two. Your step two is a magician and it is reversed. The magician represents conscious awareness. It represents manifestation, it represents power, it represents uh, control. It is creating something. But because it's reversed in your step two, Amy, it's like we want to kind of give up some of the control. We want to stop feeling like we have to manifest everything. We have to make everything just, we have to magically make things happen, right? With the magician. And because it's reversed in your step two, Amy, I feel like, let's pull back on that, right? There, there comes a point where it's, you gotta do, you gotta do, you gotta control things, you gotta make it happen. You're, 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 you gotta know, you gotta be consciously aware all the time. But when it's reversed in this position, it's like, okay, let's, Let's pull back on that. Let's pull back on that. Your step three. Amy, Amy, your step three. It's the star. It is the star. And the star represents hope, it represents peace, it represents generosity, serenity. It is recognizing that even after some really shitty shit happens, there's still hope. There's still the star that comes at, at the end. Like, you know, when you're thinking about the fool's journey, the tower is the card that happens just before this. Like the star reminds us after we've just experienced this incredible amount of devastation, there's still hope. 
that the things that you lost are things that are no longer serving you, that you're going to grow and become a better person. This is a major arcana card. It is major in terms of our life, spiritual growth and development. That's what I have for you, sweetest Amy. Step one is to bring some balance into your life. Step two, let go of some of that control. And step three, embrace the hope, let it in. Because it's not hopeless till you lose hope. Take a deep breath. And exhale slow. It's always the slow exhale that allows us to calm our parasympathetic nervous system and allow us to take control and ground ourselves in that moment. Okay, so thank you very much for joining us just one more time tonight and, 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 and ending the season with us. You have been a great blessing and, and a wonderful reader, and I hope I, everybody has enjoyed you as much as I have. Thank you so much, Glenn. I am always happy to be here. All right, so up next we have Alicia. I hope she's backstage and ready to come on. If not, I guess Asa will be joining and letting us know. <laughs> it's like Russian roulette, who's gonna join me, right? <laughs> well, hello, darlings. <laughs> How are you? Now, I understand you got a back. Do you have a backlog? Is that what I need to take care of? Well, is, is Alicia not uh, not on? Is she not logged in? Miss Alicia? Nope. Miss Alicia ain't here. Sorry. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Well, then I guess we will move on because I had somebody that was actually actually asked for a reading specifically from her. But we will move on. Um, so, um, and, and these are a lot of them that you've already read before, but they asked for reading, so we're just going to continue on. Exactly. Um, so, Heidi's was, what does the future hold for me? 9478. You know what? Hold still something. Okay. Let's switch this up. Tara's cute. And I can't do flame readings right now. Something about, you know, wind blowing through my office and, you know, husband getting a little upset. Where is my reading case? And as most things happen, you know, something something happens. It, it's never, it's always unexpected. You never know whenever something's going to happen. So, um, we have some, some that don't show up, and it's perfectly okay. Exactly. That's why Ethan has many bags and tricks in his toolbox. <laughs> These should be my angel oracles. We'll pull out those. He gets a little, ever since I taught him candle magic, he gets a little antsy around fire. <laughs> you know, he came into my office and, you know, I had one of those candles and, you know, when the wish is granted, the flame will shoot up really high. Yeah, he got a little nervous. That's why I always use a, a cauldron with a lid so he was able to put it out. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, all right, so we're going to pull on some angel oracles here. Okay. And who are we doing with? This is Heidi asking what the future holds for her. Let's see what the angels have to say about your future, Heidi. Well, Heidi, apparently you're going to be taking on something new because it's been really busy here lately. And it's time for you to take a time out and focus on yourself. Um focus on taking time out for yourself and pulling it together. And then we have Zaina. Zane says that you're protected from all harm and that the worst is over now. You can move forward with confidence. And Shanti says that you have a smoother path ahead, that she's going to bring some calming energy and make things a lot easier for you. And of course, the final angel message is Chantel, which I call her the party angel. You guys, that she's telling you to go have some fun. Go get enjoyable there. Okay, who's next? Okay, next up is Shannon, 81877. Message is trying to be delivered to me. I've had issues with getting it. Pretty sure from who, but they didn't communicate well in life. So still not doing well at it. 
can you get it? it. They will probably never do well at it because that's the lesson they keep failing. Um, I think the message they're trying to get to you is someone's coming and I can't tell which side. Um, And I feel like that that's, and when it says someone's coming, there's either a new baby coming, a new pet coming, or someone's getting ready to move to the other side. One of the three is going on. Okay. Um, next up would be um, Anne Marie, uh, 12371. Um, Dragonfly Readings is, is her thing. And okay. she'd like to know if it would, if, it, if it's going to take off for her. Let me take a look here. I feel like it does take off, but I think you're going to have to get focused. And here's what I mean. We have the four of swords here. It's showing that you need to figure out your goals. What do you want dragonfly readings to look like? What's the face? What's the color? What's the smell of the room? What's the behavior? You uh, What type of your is your client? We have justice. This tells me that you are unbalanced. You're not giving enough attention to both projects because you've got two projects here. We have the Hereford, which says there's already been a formula designed to build this business. For you to take off with it, you need to follow the formula. Like it ain't time to reunite a path. And then we have the final outcome card is the lovers, which shows you partnering with somebody. It's not a relationship. It's a business partnership. Okay. See that grin on my face? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'll be messaging you, Anne Marie. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so next up we have Emily, uh, 1182. I'm being way more ambitious with my garden this year than I have been before. How will it turn out? Will I achieve green thumb status finally? You don't want green thumb status. You want black thumb status. Green <laughs> thumb just means it's infected. Black thumb means it's fully dead. <laughs> Let's see what the angels say about your garden. All right, so here's what we get on your garden. It's kind of interesting. I love it when um, the angels start talking, but they talk differently. So last says that a happy, a happy new uh, place is coming, a happy new direction with it. Adele says that she's leading you to your dreams. You've asked for help for this. She's going to show you how to do it. And I also feel like you're going to have to drag, um, is this Emily Mott? Yes. Uh, you're going to have to drag Grumpy Tank out there to help you with the garden. But I think that it will do well. I would say make sure to tender your soil a little bit more than you've done before. And I also feel like with this, you need to design a small area that you grow garden in it, but you let that go back to the waste. That'd be nice. That yeah. like a little compost area. Well, no, it's kind of like uh, this is for the wild animals, the chipmunks that want to steal her seeds, whatever. Okay. Over in that corner. Well, you always got to carve out some space for nature, right? Mm-hmm. That's, that keeps the whole balance of it. Okay, Natasha, 113.90, she wants a general reading. All right. Let's see what the angels have to say. Storms came in real nice. Looks like it's done well. All right. Overall, general reading. First up out of the gate, we have patience. It's not the time to be making decisions and choices. It's the time to be sitting back and taking a look at yourself. Taking a look at what you want. Studying, getting into deep detail, but working on your patience. Yana says you have a deep connection with animals. You should be really pulled in there. Um, 
and it feels to me like that you know with that you know both on heaven and earth so you'll be dealing with them building that bond bethany says that you take excellent care of everyone else but you forget yourself knock that off and start taking care of yourself and israel says that you're a light worker and you need to start shining your light now see this be everything from counseling to reiki work so be working on opening up those light centers wonderful take that to heart natasha i know that's what you you needed to hear all right so emily and she this was actually she had a question for alicia so her birth date is 12 14 95 mm -hmm. and her question was will i be able to overcome everything i've been through well she's got a message so i'm gonna go ahead and do them i'll do the message in a minute All right, so first up, messenger card. Messenger card, these are cards that jump out when I'm shuffling because they know they can't get to the top of the deck, is the Nine of Swords, which shows me you're worrying and stressing too much. You're also probably getting a lot of anxiety going on and a lot of stress. You're going to have to find a way to process that out. Will you be able to overcome everything you're going through? We have the Wheel of Fortune here that shows that you're going through a lot of changes. The changes are kind of like Russian roulette. You never know where they're going to end. We have the four of wands here showing you that you need to focus on your family and to keep everything together. You've got to make sure that you do not stick yourself in a tyrant position or give yourself a lot of bad press or are really hard on yourself. And we also see financial blessings coming within the next four to six weeks. With that, are you going to get through everything you've gone through? Yes. Are you going to be able to work past your issues? Yes. But I feel like you need to start writing them out, getting those emotions out. Okay. Okay. All right, Emily. I hope that helps you, darling. All right. Next up is Missy. We got seven five sixty nine. Does my husband truly love me? Ooh. There's been a lot of a lot of emotional questions tonight. Has been. I know. It's been a lot. Well, you know, I deal in emotions. Now, Missy, remember, I enjoy telling people to get a divorce, but we'll take a look here and see what's going on with this one. <sighs> All right, Messi, he tends to be the one that's wisdom and prayers. He likes to pursue his passions. He likes to have everything pulled together. You keep trying to look at where you've been, what you've been through. You know, look at these apples I've grown. Look how this is built. You also look at what's not there, what you keep missing, what you don't have. Just this time, time to settle it up. Fighting and arguing never gets you anywhere. You guys just keep resetting it. Does he truly love you? The simple answer is yes. He actually sees you as Diana riding in through the story of the chariot card that I was told was that Caesar put Diana on the back of a chariot and rode her through Rome. So whenever you see this card connected to relationships, he adores you. He shows you off like um, Cleopatra, i.e. the Diana. So, does he love you? Yes, he does love you. Does he want a relationship with you? Yes. Do y'all have problems? Oh, hell yeah. But you work through them. You tear it apart, you put it back together. If that doesn't work, you tear it apart again, you put it back together. But you got to start, stop looking at what you don't have and look at what you do have and where you're headed with it. Okay, I'm going to call the readings right there for now. And okay. And uh, we'll, we'll start on with our topic of discussion. So what uh, was it that you wanted to talk about while well, I get caught up with the list of everybody? Because Dottie's coming on at 9 o'clock. And I don't know if you all have seen or not, but she does have bones. So she'll be ready to read bones for us tonight. Oh, she's throwing bones different. at her, too. Yes, I'm really excited. I am, so, too. I hope she throws them just like Dolly does. <laughs> All right, so let's let's get started. What did what did you want to? I don't start? know. Why don't we get an update on Pagan Pride and what all's going on there? Okay, so um, if for those of you that attended 
Um, let me kind of uh, attend to 2019. Let me kind of give you a breakdown for you. Um, we, we had entertainment. Um, we had Beth and her family, Blackberry Botanicals. Um, they were doing the kitchen as well as had their uh, booth set up. We have readers. We have um, vendor row, as I like to call it, with all, all the vendors and everything. Um, it's not going to be much di much different. Um, we do have an actual a, a stage at Flatwoods Park, so I am looking for entertainers. Well, we are um, having a pagan panel, so um, Asen has to be a part of the pagan panel because he is one of the two uh, Central West Virginia Pagans of the Year for 2020. The other one was Mo Cummings from Earth Magic. Yes. Yeah. So, so Asen has to be there to help uh, announce who the 2021 recipients are. Right now, up for that is Kalina Jones of uh, Mid Ohio Valley Pagans and Sacred Yana, um, Adam and Nicole, who will actually be on here at 9:30 tonight. They joined us for Divination Night. Mm -hmm. um, and had a really interesting show. If you missed it, go back and watch it. It's something that I guarantee you, you've never seen before. But Nicole is coming on here to do a collective reading tonight. Um, right now, we have uh, we have two paintings that are up um, for everybody to vote on. Um, as of May 1st, I will have them up for people to vote which one they want. Actually, I think it's up right now because we've only had the two options. They've both been painted by Miss Flora Santiago and they are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, wolves howling at the moon because that's where our theme is. Central West Virginia Pagan Pride, the howl of the wolf. Um, so it's all about speaking, speaking our truths. Um, Aaron Beck is going to be our um, our speaker this year. She actually started West Virginia News Group, I believe it is, and it's really um, making you aware of what topics you should be paying attention to. Well, not only that, but it's got some great journalists in there, some great private journalists in there. Um, and we love it, you know, because of our talk shows and stuff, because it brings up topics that isn't going to make it together with everything else. So I really am looking forward to hanging out with Erin and talking with her. She's a fun one. Um, get out. Yeah. Um, so uh, we are. So, OK, Beth is Beth and her family are doing the kitchen again and mm -hmm. they're, we're doing uh, smoothies as well because they, they were really popular. We did really good with um, with the food there. It was it was really popular. So we want to we want to continue on with that. Well, no, um, she can cook. Oh, yes, she can. <laughs> oh, like, yes, she can, can cook. There, there's a reason that her monthly event is called Witches with Salsa. Because otherwise, we'd have to rename it, you know. <laughs> she starts cooking, we're all in trouble. Oh, yeah. So so I just want to give a quick plug for her because she did announce today that they are doing a Beltane um, gathering of sorts down mm -hmm. there at, on her property. Yeah. So um, go, if you are a member of West Virginia Pagan Calendar, she did post in there. So um, that is that is a group. West Virginia Pagan Calendar is is a group, and that's where we try to post all of the events and everything, even things that are online. If you see something, post it because you never know who's going to be interested. Um, so well, far, let's, talk about, um, let's hmm? talk about West Virginia Pagan Calendar because we got a lot of new people in here, honey. Me and you keep thinking that we got a lot of old fuddy duddies, you know, that are, we that have heard all our stuff. We got new eyes, new people. Let's talk about some of the things we do. You run West Virginia Pagan Calendar. Oh, gosh. What don't I run? What I don't run, you run, pretty much. <laughs> that farm the Baltimore to West Virginia, and you're the Wicked Witch of West Virginia. Yes. Uh, okay. So West Virginia Pagan Calendar was created as a place for us to put all of our events together. Um 
be it, it started out just West Virginia only and looking at um, shops that were doing things um, from classes, from Reiki to energy healing to uh, music healing, um, started adding the vendors in there and um, promoting their products. And um, so now we just put everything in there. It's like a one stop place. Right. Um, and it's one of those places that you can really go in there and find what you want to do this weekend or this summer. I mean, we've already got events planned out. People are putting events together that are looking great. You know, mm -hmm. get your vaccination and then go get your, go have fun. Yeah. Um, and I think that that's really cool. It's really nice there. We also have a uh, um, Mountaineer Pagan Nexus, which is an off site away from Facebook. Um, if you, you know, abandoned Facebook or you're not out on Facebook, you can come to West Virginia Peg and Nexus and interact there. Yes, and please. Well, you can put your events up there. You can make friends. You can post your timeline. It's a fully interactive social media for West Virginia and the underlying areas. Meaning if you can drive into West Virginia, come on over. Yes. So, um, let me see what else. Um, currently on Rowan Temple of Light, there is a post up and we're asking people to go and vote for the May Queen. So started this last year as just a fun way, since we couldn't get together and have Beltane, it got started just as a fun way to Crown a, crown a May Queen or King. It was whoever. And I, I did did have a little bit of everybody post their pictures last year. This year we have our reigning May Queen from 2020, uh, Samara. She has posted her up. She is in the running against, um, oh, what is her name? Amy. What is, you, you know what her name is? My baby girl, Amy Long. Yes. Yes. She's a reader out of Morgantown. Yes. So those two ladies are in the running for May Queen. The race is on. So let me tell you how you can vote. If you go to Rowan Temple of Light page on Facebook and you go and find the post with the two, two ladies and their pictures, you go and like, love, whatever, their picture. Not the main post, their picture. That's how they get their votes. And um, as of midnight on April 20th, no, April 30th, <laughs> as of midnight on April 30th, the votes will be tallied. And on May the 1st, I will announce May Queen. Okay. And what do they get for being May Queen? I haven't decided yet. I'm, I am going to order something and have it sent to them. Uh, maybe a crown. It may be a flower crown. You never know. It might be spe something specially made by one of our fantastic vendors mm -hmm. from here, right here in West Virginia. So, darling, with Pagan Pride, are we going to do Pagan um, the week with the Sunday before? Are we going to do um, Pagan Pride? Oh yeah, we are totally in for a pre-show. I've already spoken to a few people that cannot make it to the in-person event. Mm -hmm. So we, I mean, for one reason or another, uh, maybe their immune system is compromised and even with the vaccine, they're, they're afraid to venture out or for whatever reason, mm -hmm. um, they're not able to make it. Uh, we're going to get together for a pre-show. Yes, I think we should do a pre-show. I think the pre-show should be, of course, we call it Pegging QVC. So yes. the, the vendors are going to show off their wares. If you want their wares, there'll be a way to contact them to get them before you even get there. Yes. 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 We, want, we want to show off and let you know who's going to be there, what, what kind of merchandise we're looking at having. Um, so right now we've got a great lineup. Uh, like I said, Blackberry Botanicals are going to be there. Um, 
David Jervis of Smoky Wisdom Terror School. He's going to be a reader this year. Uh, Tommy Artist is bringing a reader with him. Uh -huh. um, Nicole from Sacred Yana, she's going to be reading. Asen's going to be reading. Mm -hmm. So we got plenty. We got plenty of readers. We're good on the readers front. So we're yeah. we're. And we're going to have you know, a PC with their camera equipment for a photo booth. I've got the perfect location to do witchy photos. Awesome. And I am so excited. And I think it's going to turn out great. Cool. Yep. I think so we're really going to have a lot of fun PC's with this. looking forward to being there. And of course, you know, Mystic PC will have information for our pagans that want to deal with a pagan fo focus media and um website design company we will have our cards and information there i'll be there i don't know if i will have any of my jewelry out yet but that should be possible maybe possible all right i am looking ahead um to see i know some of you wrote it, wrote your your question and comments again so um, I wasn't ignoring you. I was just going to where I could see. Yep. Um, all right. So is Dottie available? Ready to bring her on here? She's good to go. Yes, Christy. You can ask another question. Uh, birth date in question. Yep. Whoa. It just jumped. <laughs> All right. Can you uh, let me out for a minute so I can get caught up here a little bit? I can, and I'll go ahead and bring Miss Dottie on for you. All right. Thank you. Talk about what she's been up to. I will. Hello, Miss Dottie. How are you? I am doing pretty fabulous right now. Ah, yeah, Luther wanted to say hello as well. I don't know if you can hear him. Yes, we can always hear the lovely darling. How are, how is he? Has he had his walk? Uh, nope. He goes for a run. He's going to go for a run right after this bit. And right now he, he's more interested in the food I have not eaten over here in the corner than he is in the walk. I assure you. Well, good. Well, you know, we got to keep him on his schedule. So what have you been up to, darling? A little bit of everything. I um, I actually am shot and am in the middle of editing the video that's supposed to be out tomorrow. Uh, May's prediction video. Mm -hmm. We've got the best Yomancy video out in March that I'm very proud of. Um, I'm on Keen now, so I am available to read. You can also schedule a dog. Oh, really, I'm trying to promote myself. Yeah. Yes. Luther, Luther is also... Apparently on Keen with me all the time, whether I like him or not. He helps with the animal communication. <laughs> but um, you can also you can schedule an appointment directly with me through Facebook. Uh -huh. um, thank you, Asen and Joe. You all have been a lifesaver. Like it's actually starting. It, I'm starting to feel like Dottie the Psychic may actually be a viable business. Like I am trying to make it a real thing. Um, Harmono Harmonious Path, one another YouTuber is supposed to be live streaming with me in like a couple of weeks. Ooh, nice, nice. Yeah. And you've got coffee chat with me tomorrow night. Well, we'll talk mm -hmm. shop. Now, I understand you're throwing bones tonight. I, I am. Questions. I've got a couple of real actual bones in there. Like, yeah, oh. Well, uh, th that's where we're going to get at. One, where'd you learn how to throw bones? And two, KFC or Popeyes? Popeyes always. <laughs> okay, so bones. Actually, I did a video on these. The way I learned how to do these was actually through YouTube because I am I am a YouTube scholar. Yes, the shade, very shade. I know, I know, but it works. So I actually started to research uh, osteomancy, which is divination through bones. Uh, there's actually a slew of different types through history. Uh, the one that interests me the most that I have not done and want to do, I actually have to find a shoulder bone from a deer, a bovine, something of that nature, something big enough, and they would actually etch the symbols into the bone and throw it in the fire, and depending on how it cracked, 
the where it cracked had to do would affect like the symbols and things and that's how they did their reading those were things for like uh that was okay don't ask me what dynasty it was but it was a chinese form of divination uh -huh. that was actually for the state you know that was the official state divination Ooh, nice. All right, Hunter, step up here. Dottie needs a bunch of shoulder bones. Y'all don't need them. Dottie will gladly accept them. Preferably Actually, clean. I would love to. I would love to. I'd do a whole video on it because I need to redo that. That was back before I understood what editing was at all in costumes or anything. The whole thing I did in my blue sweater. I'm like, looking back, I'm like, oh, that happened. And I'm very proud of it. I was very proud of it at the time. Well, I would be very proud of it because you look great in blue. Well, thank you. I'm certainly much flashier now on my YouTube channel, at least my bigger videos. <laughs> You're flashier normally. Like, come on, guys. She uh, she goes all out. I don't know if you guys have seen her at events or not, but she'll show up all dressed up. Uh, she'll show up in costume. She even got me to be a rabbit. Now, there are a few people that can get me to do parts. She gets me to do parts. It was a fun time. You got to admit, that was fun. That was hilarious. That video, actually, I had been planning that video. If you all uh, if you all get a chance to go back and check out the Rowan Temple Lake YouTube channel, you can find where we did the whole Pagan Pride thing last year on mm -hmm. live. And she posted the videos. And you can find where I'm in a dress promoting it literally a year before I got it out. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Apparently, we can get a supply of bones for you from the slaughterhouse. Really? Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hit me up on Facebook after this. I am actually interested. Yeah. Maybe we can get a few skulls. That way we can do some skull readings. That what you know, the, oh, God, what is that called? I used to have, like, I keep, but there's a bunch of little doodads I just want to have to put in the background of my videos. And what are those... Friends, fair. It starts with an F. Okay, what's it do? <laughs> Basically, you read the lumps and bumps in the skull. Ah. The shape of your skull. It's actually uh, phrenology. There we go. Phrenology, and mm -hmm. it actually. Um, by the way, if anybody wants a reading, I am available for that. But if you want me to just chit chat, then I'm. Well, we'll happy wait until Lady Gwen's ready to come back in and kind of give everyone because I've been doing a lot of powerhouse readings and you know you've been doing a lot of changes. You know you got a ticka taka. You started oh, you have a TikTok. Tick -a -tick -a. Oh God, yeah, no, the TikTok. I I, I got to figure something out with the TikTok. Like March, I just blew it out of the water. I had to challenge every day for March, and then April, I. This last month, I'm not going to lie, I have been off my game, but the girl's coming back because May is around the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, Actually, so I'm thinking. Yes, Dottie is taking questions. Yes. Actually, I have the bones out. Mm -hmm. Actually, why don't we go ahead and throw those for me and see what you get? Okay. You know, because these are one of those readings that people don't see all the time. They see the tarot, they see the oracle, they see the numerology and astrology, but like bone throwing, smoke reading, flame they're reading. A little, yeah, they're a little different. Yeah. Okay. So basically, for you, those who are not familiar with a bone reading, it is not all bones, it is little doodads and bits. Um, I don't know. Is it blowing out? There we go. Too much light. I want to work on this. Eh. So little doodads and bits and things that mean something to me. Like these are things that I've picked up. So it's much easier. It's, every kit is individual. Basically, I agree, Luther. It is very hard to be a dog. So there is something. So I hate to start out so generic, but there is something hidden that is. That is being covered up and it's almost shielded by uh, bravado. Uh huh. Okay, bravado, but like uh, st stage magic sort of thing. Um, uh -huh. Yes, I love God, dog. I do love. And it's something like uh, it's something that you know about, but mm -hmm. you're not talking about. 
-hmm. and the person that is trying to hide it from you doesn't know that you're that you know right which why would you try to hide shit from a psychic i don't know oh they do it all the time they think i don't hear the conversations and the back talk and the hate mail please people i'll read it all delete it burn it move forward So, yes, Luther thinks that everything's going to be okay. Uh huh. I should give him more chicken in life. Yeah. Um, here's the thing like, the whole thing, it's silly that whatever this thing is hidden is not that important. It's not. It's not nearly as big as the person who's hiding it thinks that it is because it's mostly. It mostly has more to do with a lack of self confidence than any actual material thing because what they're so afraid of showing they're, you know they're putting junk in front of diamonds uh-huh <sighs> let's shut you up dog i love thank you for a minute and a half he was hungry and furthermore he had conversation he See, does he he is. Hold on. this is my talking dog well no let's talk about that because he does this every time me and you get on camera Every time I get on camera, it doesn't. It's, it's not just. It's not just you. It okay. is everybody. And it's my attention is on something other than my dog, and it is so terrible. Well, you know, really I always it. say if you if you need attention, you want a companion, get a dog, not a man. That's true. No one will ever love you or forgive you for your faults like your dog does. He does what? not care. If I he does not care if I screamed at him yesterday, as long as I'm nice to him today. Mm -hmm. I don't scream on my dog. I am not one of those YouTubers. No, but, but you know, that's the important thing because you do a lot of charity work and that's why I'm bringing up Luther here because he's a rescue, but you also do a lot of charity work with different organizations. Yeah. You know what? Actually, that's a great time to mention it because anybody out there who has a cause they want to promote, hit me up. I don't know why it is that uh, my favorite aspect of being a YouTuber is doing a cause of the month. Every month, I do a new cause of the month. Like next week, not the, yeah, not tomorrow, but next week, I'm going to try and have a video that is going to announce May's cause of the month. This month's cause of the month was actually a friend of mine who took out personal money of hers to go do something nice for somebody. So if you want to check out that video, Eric Michelle's Divine Blessings, mm -hmm. that's on my YouTube channel. Uh, one month, I did a whole uh, PSA on registering to vote. Uh, I did the Appalachian Pagan um, Ministry twice, and I would love to do that again because that was when I was first starting out and I wasn't making really great videos for my cause of the month, and I feel like I gypped them. So, okay. <laughs> Well, we'll put them in the roster. Now, Miss Gwen's ready to come back and get you to Taskmaster, honey, because you got a list running here. So I'm going to switch you back. Okay, let's do this. Dottie, honey, I hope you are ready because they've been rolling in here. All I right. am ready when you are. All right. Mika is 220.82. Ashley, I got you, honey. Okay. What is the question? Uh, let me go back up because it's been a while. You guys got to talk it. It was just like, woof. You know, what? you can't stop me once I get started. I know, and that's what I love about you guys. You just tell it like it is. You you got to have some strength of will to keep a live stream going by yourself. <laughs> I tell you what, I have learned so much about perseverance from YouTube. Okay, I'm not I'm not seeing any any question from from her. And this is the bad part because I I know it was here. I know I seen it because I got her birth date. <laughs> Okay, well, you know what? I'll just go ahead and do a just general read for you, honey. I may That's not be answering great. your question, but it'll probably be important anyway. Yeah. Oh, my God, Luther. Yes, I love. Okay, so Luther says... Luther says... Not to stress so much. Luther says that the situation will be okay. It might take a little work. See, I'm running around. I'm going to do a dog reading. Are you going to do a dog reading? Oh, okay. I got it. Okay. Will my guy be able to handle me and my anxiety or will he end up leaving me? The guy? Yeah. Or guide? 
will my guy be able to heal me in my anxiety or will he end up leaving me? Okay. Here's the thing. If he leaves you because you have a mental health issue, you can do better. Luther says that. Luther agrees. Uh, yeah, Luther agrees. Luther, what do you think? Is he going to stay or go? Luther says he doesn't care. <laughs> he like gave me a look like, no, the guy is not going to be a permanent fixture in your life. If you're, if you have to add to your anxiety disorder, uh, if he's adding to your anxiety disorder, do you want him in your life? Right. Right. Okay, so jo Joanna wanted you to throw bones for her. Okay, I got throw bones. Sorry, I know that was not an actual reading. That was a sister talk right here, but... but that's kind of what you needed, darling. That, that's kind of what I do. Like, I'll pick up on the situation, and then you get... I don't pull punches. <laughs> Anybody, if I'm missing you, please please comment again, and we'll, we'll get to you. Okay, so who's next? Joanna. 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 The question is concerning somebody who wronged me. Okay, let's see. I wouldn't worry about them. Their uh, fortune is about to begin to diminish greatly. They're going to be encircled with problems. Um, they bought and paid for. I see that... Uh, there's almost like a wall created with some of the little smaller pieces. And it's kind of, it almost appears to be pushing back. Like everything they have is starting to get smaller and smaller and smaller. Because I get the feeling you're not the only one that they wrong. You're maybe one of a long line. And it's coming to, the, the chickens are coming home to roost. Okay. So have fun with that. Uh, <laughs> We'll soon hear some happy news for you. Okay. So Pasha wants a general. She's one thirteen ninety. One okay. Pasha. All right, I am a little rusty with the bones. I'll admit. It's all right. What it's comes to you is what's meant to come to you. We all, all right. know. That. I do need to practice with them more. See, this is one thing. You can pick up just about anything and turn it into a divination tool, but it's a matter of practicing with it and allowing yourself to receive the messages. Okay, so you know how we were talking whenever I came on your show about uh, me doing the touching the spots on your head, and yeah. then you were talking about reading the bumps in your head? I've had well, some of my bumps removed. <laughs> <laughs> I have a unicorn horn removed, and there's another one grow. Two of them grown underneath of it. <laughs> <laughs> so you changed your fortune. Proof that anybody can change their fate. <laughs> my dinner. Okay. Okay. So somebody said. Um, uh, well, who was it that I wanted a general read? Uh, Tasha. Hmm? Tasha. Tasha. All right. Sorry, Tasha. I know we're. Um, it's it's, it's all right. right. We're 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 trying our best to to stay stay on track here. Okay. So there is a shard in your heart, and when I say that, I mean that there is something that has been bothering the hell out of you that you are not willing to deal with. Which is some cookie fortune reading, I know. But so that was rough. But I do yeah. also see, I see that as you do, though, it's going to change. You're going to actually start getting more prosperity in your life. And a trip. I do see a trip. This might be a good time to start planning a getaway. I see the dog. Everyone hears the dog. Luther, are you want on camera? All right, I'm going to show you all my dog real quick. Okay. He has to be on camera right now. He wants okay. my dinner. That's what he wants. This is what I get. See, here, Luther. Say hi. Oh, hi. 
Hi. That's my Luther baby. Yeah. Oh. Got him. Oh, uh, you know what? It's funny because we actually got him from a, uh, a guy in Ohio. His dog wasn't fixed. So he had all these puppies he had to get rid of. So we got a, we got him and his brother. Oh, nice. Ow. Okay. Um, so um, I want to do Darren, 92481. Um, he just wanted to ask for a reading. He's he's new. He's never been on one of our shows before. Hello, Darren. Welcome well, to the show. Thank you for joining us. Actually, met him this weekend at Witches and Salsa. Which, by the way, any other psychics, if you're still watching, I know you are because I know I watched. <laughs> if you want to be on my, uh, if you want to do a live stream, hit me up. If you got somebody who's promoting something. And the only thing is about my live streams is I try to make sure that I stick to people who are promoting something they're doing. Like, you know, like when we had Gwen on, she, she, all these things she's doing. Same with Asin, the optimist, he sells readings, things like that. So if there's something that you're trying to promote yourself, hit me up. And you know, that's what we, that's what we're doing. That was the whole point in divination night was to network. Right. And and to get the word out and, and make connections with other readers because everybody has something that they can contribute to help somebody else with. All right, what you got, darling? Okay, Daryl, I see that you are uniquely open in your life. Like, I have a feeling like this is the point. It feels like the calm before the storm, but it's not, honey. You're in full aftermath enjoy it like there is a there is a there is an odd calm when everything has already hit rock bottom and you know you're on your way up enjoy the ride up i see fortunes are starting to build up you're you're you know hold your cup out and decide where you want to go because now is a time when you can create your own reality Wow. Congratulations. Yes. That deserves applause because not many people get that. Unfortunately, so many people do and then they but they don't take the opportunity. Oh, okay. But uh I'm sorry for everything that has happened to you, but things are actually looking way up. Okay. Um all right, so Ashley, 82696. I've been told I have a business I'll be starting this year, but I have no idea what to do. I'm looking at two paths mainly, one being virtual personal assistant and the other looking into more psychic services and learning the craft way more first. Can you see which is on my path? Okay, here's the thing about you said it was electronics. Yeah, virtual personal assistant or psychic services in the craft. I feel like they're gonna overlap a lot. Okay, everything I see, like the coins are lined up, like they're overlapping, like one's gonna lead into the other. Um, so I would start where you're more comfortable. Like if you're worried about your income, then you're going to want to be an assistant, but eventually that's going to lead to a point where it leads into the psychic world. Okay. So I feel like this is just like, so sometimes we hit a split in the road and it seems like they're going in completely different directions, but eventually it's going to wrap around and you're going to end up on the same path. But that was vague. 
you know, I am hitting a bat in a million. I don't think Darren thinks I was right, though, because he's like, me? <laughs> Yeah, I th- I think uh, I think it was it, it was a shock for him, but but I I think he's he's ready. Sometimes it happens whenever you least expect it. Okay, so Christy would love a reading from you. She is ten seven eighty one. Will I get my disability? Yes. yes. Looks good. Okay. Hello, Emily. Okay, so then we got Amy six seventeen seventy six. I'm looking to see if she had any specific question, but I I think she's mostly hers this evening has been general. Okay. What's going on with the, I feel like you're kind of going through a lonely face. Like you're trying to block yourself off from love. Um, or that something has recently happened that has made you very, very cold about it. Girl, you need to find your shine. That's what I see. I think it's time to take a break. I wouldn't worry so much about it. It's hard. It's, it's so easy to say, don't worry about it. But this is a time to work on yourself. Don't let somebody else change who you are. Okay. So if anybody else wants, wants a reading, just comment your date of birth and one here because we we are caught up miss dotty you caught everybody up i know it's like because we've been on for about 20 minutes now yeah uh jennifer was supposed to catch us on at 9 15 and i don't know if she's experiencing some technical difficulties herself but she has been in and out so um, we're just mo- we're just moving right along. Okay, I mean I can still keep chit chatting. You know, I'll st- I'll talk as long as you give me a platform. That's why I'm Donnie the psychic. There, somebody commented, and I'm gonna see if I can find it again. I'd love to see you see a month for Louise Colette Tisdell Foundation. They help families with NICU expenses. Hit me up. Hit me up. Uh, Dottie the Dotty the Psychic. D O T T I E the Psychic. Just like it's spelled. Message me their uh, contact information. And if you have an in there, like if you know somebody there, I can talk to and you can introduce me. I'm all about that. I, I really do have difficulty getting causes to <clears throat> to take me seriously because I'm a YouTube star. You know. But I am interested in in promoting a cause that is going to improve our, you know, the world around us. Mm-hmm. So I'm seeing, like I said, everybody, I'm I'm trying to keep up. Um, Darren put with his birthday. Uh, will my book get traditionally published? If so, will it bring me the success in life I seek? Look at what you said to him. I you, said, you, now's the time to hold your yep. cup out. Yep. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne. Emily, I see. Emily, um, I love you, dear. I would be glad to see how your summer is going to go. This is the one thing about bones. It is easier to gather up and shuffle the tarot cards than it is to pick up all these little bitty pieces. Okay, so tell us about some of the pieces in your collection. That's what. <laughs> okay, so... um. See this one? It's a crushed penny with a good luck symbol on it. So you can't see it because it's light. Oh, so like one of those railroad. 
Yeah, I've got a couple of those. One of these is actually from Virginia Beach, which has a lot of significance to me. This one, I don't know where it came from, the one that's for luck, but it's a basically a crushed penny. So when I see that, you know, that's where the luck is, depending on what else it's adjacent to. And then this one's for travel, depending on, on what direction it is. And um, <clears throat> you have to develop basically, like here's a tooth my dog brought me. It's a deer tooth that my dog brought me. So it's... <laughs> It oddly has more sentimental value than you would think of an actual bone would. But when I yeah. think of this, I think of, of uh, like familiars bringing close energy. Mm -hmm. um, shell represents the sea. It's kind of the cup. Like when I said his cup was open, I saw this on top of luck, on top of the travel, on top of, you know, here's an actual penny. Since it's real currency, I qualify that as money. Um here is actually a doubloon replica that I found in my brother's things. So that uh, kind of a tradition. And a, it, yeah, for me, that's tradition. Don't know. I also have things in here that are junk, like a pop cap. This is something that it, is a block. It's a block. So when it shows up on top of something, it's blocking that flow. Uh, and then I've got a whole bunch of these little beads, like I have a little, um, little pieces of amethyst, little bits of, uh, some green stone I can't identify. This right here, this is a fun one. This is actually a shard of a window that was in my dad's van. When I was first starting to drive, I took a corner too tight and I'm in this big Astro van and it slid into a pole and I was sitting there, the pole burst through the window and this is actually one of the shards. And I keep it to remind myself to drive safe, <laughs> but it's also, it's a sticking point. Yeah. Because so whenever you see that, you better be paying attention. Right. So if you are interested in developing your own, oh, here's the thing about bone divination. It's either got to be something that you have developed with somebody and they've worked with it with you. Uh, it's actually, this particular breed of osteomancy has its roots in like New Orleans, hoodoo, voodoo. Um, so Native American traditions and African traditions that have sort of overlapped and mingled. So it, it stands to reason it's going to be things that you can find. So if you wanted to do, develop your own bone kit, you would just start picking up pieces. And I tell you what, if you decide you want to do it and you're serious about it, those pieces will come to you. And when you find them, you'll know their meaning. Because some of the stuff I didn't believe had survived what I lovingly call the Great Purge. Other people call it divorce. Um, <laughs> I understand. I truly do. So, oh, Emily, I'm sorry, I did not read your uh, your summer. What was it? Um, it's going to be a scattered summer. You're going to have some really, really great events, but I think you're going to you're going to have an expense, a bigger one that might slow you down, like a tent mm. or something breaking. So you may want to win the cow, you know, save a little back from your events if you can, so that you can replace either a piece of equipment. Good. Might not be also a bad idea to just sort of go through and, and double check your stuff before you hit the road. All right. So we've got um, Elsa. I'm wanting to know how my current biz is heading and the new one I am starting. So three of 62. Oh. Uh, holy cow. Uh, you might be spreading yourself a little thin. I just lost a very tiny piece. And oh, no. so I would be careful be careful where your money's going because there is there are things out there that sound like great investments 
but every investment is a gamble and at least one of them is not going to pay off and how much you lose is going to depend on how much you gambled which that's generic for business i understand but it actually did come up you're gonna have i mean i see a lot of things are kind of stacked against you but you have the work ethic you need to get it done the thing that's gonna the thing that's gonna bother you the most is you're gonna feel like there's a single key that you need to uncover but it's not there's not a single there's not one single thing that is going to make this business or break this business it's that grind <clears throat> but i think you got this like you hold your cup out like the seashell is see if you see the seashell like this one is when you can ask for things because it's sitting up so you can make this happen but you're gonna have to um <clears throat> Watch your presentation. So I think you got this. It's just that it's kind of in a stick. It's kind of in a hard space right now. You got to, you're in that middle of that slog between starting and succeeding where you do all the work and it's not much fun and you're missing things, but you still have to keep on a happy face and make the thing look shiny so that you can get the business you need to get past that point. You see Brenda's comment. What's that? I have a collection of terms that I have started, and I'm working with them in all, on and off. Yeah, that's basically what it is. Honestly, practice is the practice is the best thing because each piece has to mean something to you. So assigning a meaning, to, like if you pick up a piece and you feel like it should be part of your thing, but you don't know how, play with it a little bit and assign it a meaning. The, <clears throat> honestly, this is one of those divinations. It was super easy to understand and usually, and sometimes it's super easy to read and other times it is maddening to try and figure out this pile of nonsense. Like that's one thing with like, cause you know, with tarot cards, the meanings are already assigned and the placement mm -hmm. is sex. But with the bones, the pieces have a meaning that you've assigned and there is no order to them. They fall where they do. Uh, I watched another lady, actually if you, I had a live stream with a lady named Beth, um, not the Beth from around here. This Beth is actually in Indiana, I think. Love her. Um, she had like a whole bag. And what she would do is she would actually reach in and scoop out a handful and, and set them down. So it's very random. It's, as, I mean, it's. It's very personal. Right. Very personal. Each reading is completely unique. <clears throat> Okay, well, thank you very, very much for joining us tonight, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. And we'll, well be in touch because we know we've got more things coming up. Safe travel and much profit to you. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Miss Dottie. No problem. Thank you for having me on. We'll see you soon. Okay, up next, we've got Sacred Yana for a collective reading. Hi, Gwen. How are you? Hi. You, it's dark there. <laughs> it is. So I, I don't know if you received my message or not. We had a little hiccup tonight on timing. Things have been absolutely insane. So we're, you know, what divination night, we're going to do things uh, a little differently. I mean, why not add to it all? I'm actually about 10 minutes out from the shop, but, um, Oh, okay. I don't know. But I see that you guys were having some connection issues tonight. Just a heads up. I can't, I can see your screen with your name, but I can't see your face. Oh, I've, okay. I've logged out and logged back in, but same deal. So I'm in the okay. car. Adam is at the shop. I don't know if he's on here or not. I sent him the link. Um, so 
we'll do a quick, you know, go over for anybody who's not been introduced to us before. Uh, I am Nicole. I'm one half of Sacred Yana. Adam is my other half. Um, and we are located at 834 Old Mill Road in Weston, West Virginia. Um, got some great new things coming up. We've got the shop is being remodeled for all kind of fun and exciting things here. They're going to get started on that this weekend. We've been talking about it forever. Um, so that's great. So uh, we'll get right into it. You know, something that I was taught many, many years ago was that, you know, if you grab a book or a, bo or a box of tarot cards or whatever, you know, the first thing you do is you throw the damn book away. You don't need a book. Um, and following that, another thing that I learned was that, you know, our cards, our balls, our pendulums or whatever are simply a uh, they're just a tool it's kind of like someone who models clay like you could use a chisel or whatever uh, but it's not necessary so uh, some of the energy work that I do at the shop does not uh, pertain to any of those tools whatsoever so I thought well here we are tonight I'm in the car I don't have any cards I have my pendulum I don't have any gadgets so uh, sat here and had a nice little conversation with spirit and uh we're just gonna go with what the intuitive is telling me that's all i asked for but but one thing be careful driving i'm very uncomfortable with you driving <laughs> <laughs> when if i am not in the shop busting my behind and so is adam i am in the car running from point to point. that has been oh. an entire day um, so if I'm not looking directly at the camera, it's because my eyeballs are on the road. No, you keep them on the road. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're doing a little impromptu because things have been been a lot more hectic this week than we had anticipated when we set a date and time for this. So um, the first thing, you know, I basically pulling cards in my head. And the first thing that I'm get, getting tonight is the magician. Um, you know, for a lot of you who might be familiar with me, know that I don't really use the tarot very often. I use a completely different deck even outside of Oracle and um, but for some reason the tarot is sticking with me tonight and the magician is is top key uh, to me you know the, the, the magician he you know, makes water into wine he can walk on water he can do incredible things uh, when his intentions are set in the right place the other part that's coming to me along with the magician tonight is the seven of wands though to me, uh, through my practices of what I've come to recognize, the Seven of Wands to me is a lot of um, a lot of ego, a lot of arrogance, a lot of defending, depending on the circumstances. And um, you know, it's to me, it's kind of like sitting on top of the hill, fending off anybody who is um, trying to trying to you know level up is what I would call it, level up to to them. So I, I do believe. Uh, for the collective tonight and I'm gonna get I don't know how many people have joined us or what's going on out there because I can't see anything without pressing buttons it's okay um, you know I get the I get the feeling of four to five people and I don't know why but four to five people out there this evening are kind of playing this this battle with ego right now um, you know we're coming out of the Scorpio full moon it just the sign just changed tonight um, you know and, and Scorpio is not always you know they don't always have ego but you know they get mixed um, between the head and the heart and the drive and the passion sometimes. And I feel like for certain signs, uh, this is kind of what this moon was representative of is just learning to not take that ego into what you're manifesting. Because when we do that, um, we're not, we're not doing it from an authentic place. We're not doing it from a heartfelt space. Pardon me. There's a police officer in front of me. I'm going to turn the light off. Um, there, you know, we're not, we're not coming from the right space. So, you know, if you're trying to manifest something, you know, we're walking into a um, summer now. Um, it, it's a great time for new beginnings. Make sure that what you're doing isn't manipulative. It isn't defensive. You know, it's, it's a matter of watching our words and how we communicate with others. Um, you know, and the, there's a drive, you know, with the magician for everybody to come together and, you know, make it work there's a to me there's always been a collaborative energy with the magician um you know it takes a village so it's like making sure that you're comprehending the need for everybody's higher good not just your own in whatever it is that you're doing um another another thing that i'm getting tonight is like the four of cups or not the four of cups the four of wands 
um, you know, that's a lot of victory. That's a lot of success. That's a lot of great things to come. And um, I feel like for somebody, I feel like I'm a commitment of sort, um, whether it might be in a job or a relationship, is really stepping up. It, it, it's coming into something that the energy has always been there for. Um, it just, for whatever reason, just kind of sat. And it was like, well, we'll just sit here and stare at each other and see if anything happens on its own. Uh, you know, with manifesting, we can make anything happen if we want it to happen. But there's also, you know, we have free will. We have the initiative. We are to go with the flow and, and, and not fight against the current. But I feel like whoever this is, um, th there was no initiative. It was just like, I'm going to sit back and hope this happens. And, you know, maybe they'll drop some money on me, too, in the process. So um, just recognize where you've sat stagnant with this because the commitment's always been there. The drive, the desire is, or the desire is there, but it's just lacking the drive to actually make it happen. Put it that way. Um, getting a, a page energy too this evening. Um, I feel like there's a lot of back and forth, some, I'm going to call it nitpicking. Um, just immature response. So this could be, you know, a relationship, a friendship. I feel like this is somebody that's a little bit closer than, um, you know, maybe a coworker, something like that. So I'm thinking friend, family, um, relationship where it's um, not, it's not thinking before we speak. It's not addressing things from, um, it kind of goes back to the, to the seven of wands, a defensive energy. You know, there's, there's no need to be defensive. It's, you know, learning to, um, not only speak our our truth, but also to listen. You know, the only way we have good communication is by being able to be a good listener and a, and a good communicator, both. It's not just one-sided there. So um, we need to make sure that, we you know, if someone is saying something, we're not always taking it as a projection, rather uh, an understanding of how another person is, is feeling with, with that. Um, world card i've done a lot of readings and different things the world card is coming up for me too you know ends of cycles what's it going to be i feel like for a few people there seems to be a constant um merry-go-round energy basically that it's just like you know for god's sakes let me off of this thing um it will come in due time but also ask yourself where it is you're contributing to that wheel that doesn't stop are you fueling the fire you know, are you putting your feet down on the ground and running with it to, you know, to speed it up sometimes? Um, but it's, if you want off of it, the wheel, you're going to have to do something proactive to slow it down so you can't jump off. So, you know, just another thing in, in that. Uh, when I'm just curious because I, I guess that I can't see anything. Um, okay. Are people commenting? Are they inter? Are they interacting? No, they they everybody has been intensively listening. Okay. To your message. Okay, because I know, you know, when we've done this before, I could see comments stuff, and I can't. Yeah. I'm in the No, oh, no every, everyone's listening and making sure that you're safe. Everybody is holding on Guess for what? dear life, praying I, that you make it safely. I am two minutes from the shop, and then I'll be in light, so that'll be <laughs> all right. Thank you all for, for bearing with us. Tonight was just, well, not, it, it, like I said, this whole week has been insane. But okay, okay, okay. so tell, tell me about the shop. How's, how's the shop going? So the shop, we are set to start remodeling this Sunday. We are expanding over to the other side. We Finally. Are, yes. Yes. We have. We went today. That's part of today's crisis is we had to go get um, all the goodies to all the lumber and all that expensive stuff right now since COVID. Yay. Thank you. Um, to get things moving. So we had to go get that because, you know, we're closed on Wednesdays. So Wednesdays are sometimes our rat race days. So it's uh, it's in the works for this Wednesday, or I mean this Sunday, the, the porch will be uh, completed. The uh, wall space to connect will be done. And then we will be able to officially start uh, moving things as soon as, as Adam and I get some painting and uh, shelves moved and all that good stuff. So, um, Side note, I just had a bunny. I don't know who, who has connections to bunny rabbits, but bunny rabbits. Um, if, if you find yourself coming, I know it's like that time of the year. They're getting ready to mate and do their thing. But um, 
bunny rabbits are coming across. So if you, whether it's luck or you're connected to bunnies somehow, if you them, look, look up your totem animal, who knows what you'll, you'll find out that you might know. So I'm here at the shop. Oh my God, we're going to go in here and say hi to Adam. Um, okay. So, so we did have somebody say a lot of what you're saying relates to my current situation. So you are reaching, you are reaching out. Okay, good, good. I'm, I'm glad, you know, like, I guess I don't read cards in, intuitively in the sense of never laying a card down, but here I am doing it. I'm like, oh, here we go. Here's a, here's a chance. See, and that's the part that I love about this. I'm always kicking everybody out of their comfort zones. <laughs> I was like, shit, I don't have anything with me. Hang on a second. Hey, Adam. You want to come say hi? We're on here. Um, we're here, <laughs> here. I, I'm not sure. Let me see. I, I can't. I don't know how to turn the my or the camera around. I'm not technology savvy as most of you know. But um, so here, I'll take you around the shop. We got some really cool things in this week, guys. I don't know if anybody's familiar with Akashic stones, prophecy stones. We, um, a couple of us, have been talking about the Akashic records and um, how to how to access them. So we're we're curious. Here, here Adam. we go. There they be. Hi, everybody. Say hi to Adam. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey Adam. Uh, so we've got the Akashic Record Stones here. So they aid you to connect with your Akashic Records to discover your past life information. So the best thing to do to begin with is to start meditating with them, get connected. I'm going to tell you, Adam and I, of course, we had to get ours because we're all like a bunch of kids in a candy store in here. <laughs> and they're, the feeling behind them and the Prophecy Stones are, it, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh, I'll be down to get one. <laughs> yes, we've got, we've got a lot. Oh, where is the, um, oh, here, he's actually got them here. We'll show you. These are, we got a whole, whole set of them. I don't know. Can you guys see? Yeah, there you go. Okay. So yeah, there you go. We've got prophecy stones for days. Awesome. We've got bigger sizes. How much are these ones? I don't know. Okay, these aren't priced yet. We just got these in today. But um, so yeah, we've got yeah, the we get a sneak peek. Wonderful. You Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, um, so I have a couple comments. Sure. Uh, we have a pet rabbit who just appeared in our front yard one day, abandoned out of the blue. Um, and my friend asked if we knew anyone that wanted a dwarf bunny, and that was two days ago. So people are having bunnies coming up in there. The, so the rabbit, I mean, it's fertility and um and action. The rabbit, the first rabbit you talked about, that's a soulmate for somebody. Okay. Is there is there a kid in that household? Uh, Elsa, um, that that's directed at you, darling. Here we go. We got it. We got a fluorite bunny. Oh, wonderful! <laughs> Shake your bunny tail. <laughs> I feel like that 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 first rabbit instantly is a um, that's a soulmate. It's an animal soulmate to a child for some reason. Mm. That's what's coming across to me. Okay. So if there's if there's a child in that house or a child that used to be in, there's some there's some connection to to that. Uh, Emily, Emily does have an eight year old son. Okay, the same age as Lydia. Okay, well, how close are him and him and that bunny? Because I feel like there's a connection there with a child. And, and Elsa doesn't have any kids in the home. She was the first one. Well, somebody's got a connection to this. There's, there's a kid with this bunny. I, I think I think uh, I think Emily. I think her son would would be really likely because he's very he's very intuitive. Okay, gotcha. All right, so I'm in the shop. I'll throw a couple cards just for funsies, and we'll take another quick quick peek around here I think a minute or two um so let's see new child for somebody too new child definitely a new child um and it's an oh shit moment it's an oh shit moment for somebody so if you're not in the oh shits you're you probably will be somebody that's interesting it's you know it's when you play with fire sometimes, you know, we're all adults here. Um, you do things irresponsibly. Oh, shit happens. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody, somewhere, something. Okay. So, are you okay if we go ahead and bring Sarah on while you do this last reading? Absolutely. Please. All right, Sarah. We're ready for you, darling. Okay. 
Oh, look at you, gorgeous. <laughs> I see her. Oh, listen, I cannot see you, Glenn, but I can see Sarah. Hi. It's okay. Sarah. Oh. When I just said the oh shit. Yeah, I immediately thought of me. I <laughs> thought of you. I do not claim it. No. You may not. Don't play with fire, sweet cheek. I instantly thought of you. Um, okay, so real quick, and I'll let Sarah get on there and I thank you guys so much. Okay, does anybody anybody got a reading for Sarah? Um, okay, so we have one. So wish that was me. I've never been able to carry. There, you take it. You have it. You claim it. I don't want it. <laughs> okay, Emily said he's the only one in the house uh, who the bunny will allow to pet. Everyone else is skittish and will scamper away from our hands. I told you. It's a soulmate. It's a soulmate in another form. It meant to be. There, there's a. Uh, I don't know. If the child, um, hold on a minute here. The, this bunny in another, in another form, life, whatever, was damaged. And whatever it is that this animal has gone through, even though the child has not endured the same thing, it can empathize. It can. That's the difference. <laughs> I have to laugh. Dottie's question is 31786. When are you guys coming on her show? Ah. <laughs> because uh, it, it, um, Nicole, in case you missed it, Dottie does causes of the month, and especially people who are out doing stuff and trying to do things to help communities and things like that. And I'm, I'm sure you find something to get on there and promote. I mean, you promote your shop. Oh, God. Yeah. You know, um, we've got the kids' class coming up. We were, we were going to start it this, the first weekend of May. I've tried. So the, the first third weeks of May, we're going to do the kids' class. So it's actually going to start the third week of May, finally, at last. I've had so many people asking about it. Uh, oh, the you know, Wednesday. You want to come out and do something too, which I've been trying to get, I've been meaning to get a hold of you. But June 11th and 12th is our one year anniversary. Gwen's going to be here. Chrissy from the um, Wellness Haven is going to be here for the massage chairs. I have another young lady who does dream catchers and all kinds of stuff. Um, we're just going to kind of have like our own little festival community day kind of thing. And we're going to have the new moon in June to celebrate. Um, maybe the other side will be open. Woohoo! Who knows? So, uh, yeah cool cool shits going on and then for anybody who's who goes down to the weston town hub we're there every second saturday and i don't know guys we got a ton of stuff in i mean the place is packed we have nowhere else to put anything we just got new uh the sweep or the um we got those in. We got all kinds of stuff. So if we're open tomorrow, 11 to 7, Friday, 11 to 7, Saturday night, about stop in and see us. We'd love to see you. And Dottie, let me know. Message me on Facebook. Uh, you know, whatever you're doing, we're always doing something around here. Um, getting into more than we probably should, but we do. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we all do. All right. Thank you very much, Nicole. And thank you, Adam. I'm sure you can hear us in the background. No, he's out the door already. He's like, you oh, two on him. <laughs> he's putting two grills together. God bless his heart. <laughs> all right. Good, good night. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. Take care. God bless. There we go. You too. Bye. <laughs> All right, Miss Sarah, I've got a couple of readings for you. Are you ready, my darling? Yeah, I've got the Witch's Tarot, and I've got the um, one you gave me, the Wild Unknown. I also have my Unicorn and Pegasus Oracles. Okay, so so whatever you feel called to. The first one is Christy. Uh, her birthday is 10-7 of 81. It said, I would love a child. Well, tell me if I'm ever going to be a mother. What was her name again? Christy. Christy. 
And this is going to be multiple deck questions. <laughs> Whatever calls to you. <coughs> All right. The unicorns say the unicorns tell you that you have past life karma that you need to correct. Um, you are an old soul with deep wisdom, but healing your past will help with what your goal is. And Pegasus of Polaris. Polaris is the North Star. Is that correct? Or Sipka? One second. Vega Polaris. Yep. Pegasus of Polaris is the North North Star. Um, it. Keep faith in your star and those dreams, hopes, desires that are powerful enough to motivate and heal you to heal and evolve. Uh, your path is emerging. If you've been seeking clarity around your purpose, this is a sign that the universe is answering you within your heart. So to me, they're saying you've got some things to take care of before you are ready for a new little soul. Um, you got some major releasing and some possible past life trauma. So I'm getting a yes, but not yet. Not without some work. Not without some work. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hope that gives you some hope, Christy. There's always some hope. All right. So up next is Mika, 220 of 92. Will I ever get married and have kids? So we have a lot of abundance and fertility and, and emotional stuff tonight. That seems to be the overall theme. And she said it does give her some comfort. Six of Pentacles. Yes, Balder, I hear you. <laughs> um, it looks good. You've got Six of Pentacles. Um, I have to count. Hold on a second. One, two. Any, I can't count. I don't, and I can't remember my room intervals. But this is feeling trapped but there's always that hope and then you get mother of pentacles so nurturing and caring and able to do it all so i'm gonna take that as a yes and the empress oh yes so absolutely yes that's a yes you're it, it's not going to be without difficulty but you will rise you will transform from this Yeah, and things will become balanced. A lot of money or um, monetary things going on um, in this reading. But, I mean, things are fruitful, you're nurturing, you're balancing. So I would say yes. Good. There's there's your hope, Mika. Um, okay, Ashley. Ashley is asking for a general reading. Hers is eight twenty six ninety six. She's just a baby. <laughs> hey, that makes me so old. <laughs> well, I'm a nineties baby, so. Yeah, but I graduated in ninety eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an old soldier. We just said thank you, Sarah. You're very welcome. Nice. Since this is a general, I expect you to give it all you got. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of practice. 
<laughs> I know we both need to get start going live. Five of Wands, the Tower, Nine of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Magician. So, oh, alarm. Ten o'clock. Yep, ten o'clock. <laughs> Uh, you got some conflict and some major change coming, but that change is going to leave you in lavish. Um, being flexible, mixing ideas and everything, you know, the magician, you can do everything. So on my tower, it's a crown that is falling down. And people jumping out of the tower. And five of wands, they are fighting while riding dragons. So there's a heated battle going on, and it's basically going to end badly, but it's for your benefit. Because you're going to be like, Psh, I got this. I don't need you. I don't need you. There you go. I make my own magic. That's exactly what this is saying. King of Wands, carefree, Knight of Cups, move forward, don't care, and take a trip. Let it go. Take what you need with you and let it go. Three of Pentacles, work on, on you. Get creative. That's money, too. And then you'll find a new connection. You got two cups. So if this is a relationship, be done with it. It's going to be hard. It's going to be messy. It's going to suck, but it will be better for you because you're going to find your king of wands, that guy that's passionate, that girl that's passionate. Move forward with it. Be patient. Don't fear. Take a trip and then work on it and you're going to be happy. Hello. Sounds great. She said, I can respect that. Says She said, do you see a time frame for the change? And she said it, she thinks it has to do with the family member. So what do you think? Give me a second. I got to put them back in order. <laughs> Wands is Earth, so it could the fight's gonna last for about a year. Or wait, no, Wands isn't Earth. Wands is fire, so it'll be a quick fight. And then the happy times are gonna last at least a year. And then you're gonna find this new person quickly. And you're gonna take things slow. And then within a couple months, you guys are gonna head your way. So the fight will be quick and the new person will be quick, but the relationship between this person is going to be. <laughs> it, it's okay. It was, it was a, it was a misread. She said, boo, I don't like him enough for a year. It was a misread. She, she corrected herself. It's going to be over quickly. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be over quickly. I, I got my elements wrong. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Well, I always get confused because, like, wands in mine, they're flowering, so I automatically think earth, but wands are fire. And that's right, it. right. All right, sounds good. She said, "Great, thank you." You're welcome. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what you what you're up to. What are you doing? Being a mom. <laughs> So I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give a little bit of plug for us. Are you ready? Yeah. So we have a couple of days left in our contest for Rowan Temple of Light. We've we've got the box. It's created and it's ready to go out. Um, the winner will receive the box as well as a reading from Sarah and myself. 
and um, how to get joined in with the contest is just simply to go to our YouTube and follow us, subscribe, and enjoy all of the videos that are over there. Free content, free information. We've got uh, Under the Rowan Tree, Central West Virginia Pagan Pride 2020, All of Divination Night, um, our, our rituals and stuff that we do whenever we do uh, the Sabbaths and we do them live, they're on there. Um, uh, there's there's some videos that are for kids because Lydia's in there with me. And actually, a year ago today, uh, Lydia did a candle magic class with me. And I started watching it, and it just cracked me up, and I couldn't watch it anymore because she was like, she was just automatically starting out. Oh, Christy, we got a new subscriber. You will be entered in our contest. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll click on that notification bell so you get all the notifications when they pop up. Yes. Yes. And go back and watch all of these videos. Uh, watch Sarah's. We've had some great readers that have wasn't even on here tonight that couldn't for one reason or another, but Hey, this was only a two hour show. So we, we did the best we could. And I think it turned out really good. Okay. All right. So which one you got there with you? This is Balder. Balder. My baby Balder. <laughs> it's like, Hey, what's up? <laughs> He's doing cards. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us and giving your readings. And we look forward to seeing you soon. And uh, and remember, go over to our YouTube, like, subscribe, hit the dinger. And whoever, Sarah and I will be announcing on uh, around May 1st, even if it's like this, we will be announcing the winner. And you can find me on Facebook under Sarah Bethany Snodgrass. TikTok, I am Morgana Ravenhoof. I'm also on Instagram as Sarah B. Snodgrass or Sarah Bethany Snodgrass. I'm not sure which one. Um, if you want a reading, you can send me a message. They're free. I don't, I'm just practicing basically. <laughs> yes. We're just getting started. Yeah, I'm just getting started. So I always take up the opportunity for free readings. Yes. All right, so thank you very much for joining us. You look beautiful tonight. Yeah. You as well. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now let's bring Asim back on here and we will finish up tonight. So what do you it's think? Done. How do we do? We've done well. We always do well. You know, we've had a good night, some really good psychics on. I love having the Optimus and Sacred Yana was in. She done some amazing stuff. Now that floor is growing. Um, I did have a question for her, but I'll have to message her later. Wondering if some somebody's still there. For if so, the next time I may need you to do some shipping and handling. You know, put on your black coat and act like the lady in black for me, and pick it up and deliver. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, we had some fun tonight. Um, we had storms through the area, so some of their psychics weren't available. We had some internet stuff going on. You know, it's West Virginia. And sometimes I feel like I have to use smoke screens. So we, I, I, I did a count up. Are you ready for our count? Sure. 28 readings. Okay, 28 uh, readings in two eight. hours. Out of, out of four readers, because uh, Sacred Yana did a, did a collective reading. Uh -huh. So I think that's pretty darn good for two hours. I think that's decent for two hours. Yes, it is. You know, we didn't have the normal, you know, I, the, the, I, with the first internet readings I used to do was in the old Yahoo chat rooms. For those that are too young to remember them, yes, there were chat rooms that you could text chat or video chat or voice chat. Nobody could do the voice or the video because nobody had dial -up. Everyone was on dial-up. But you yeah. could clear a list of 40 in an hour. So, you know, this new format, much better, much better. <laughs> oh. All right. So Christy said this was this was her first time and she enjoyed herself. 
So thank you very much for that. Um, unfortunately, this is our season finale, but you can go back to uh, the Rowan Temple of Light page on YouTube. And there is a playlist there of all of the divination nights there. Mm -hmm. um, so you can go back and catch all of them. So now to talk about season two. Oh, season two. What are we going to do for season two? Okay, I don't know. So, so season two, not only am I going to have on, um, well, a plan now, It's it's if, as long as the readers are okay with this, I'm going to have, have readers on there. We, we stayed pretty much in West Virginia for season one. We had two of them outside of the state, one in Pennsylvania and one in Maryland. I would like to continue the surrounding states to bring it, you know, at least a couple people on, but I really want to focus on West Virginia readers. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I also want to bring on at least weekly a vendor, a West Virginia vendor. Actually, I want to bring on a West Virginia artisan. Yes. Uh, instead of a vendor, let's bring on an artisan. I want people to come in and show what they've created and share it with their community. Um, and really, really promote ourselves. Yes, because that's what Divination Night is about. It's about promotion. It's about education. I've got one night, at least one night each, every four episodes to be a learning night. Yeah. You know, like the bones tonight, we learned about how they are red, and you do throw them, and you have to collect. It ain't just going by Popeyes and having chicken. And yeah. there's only a few old people that will get that reference. Um, or KFC. So I, I am open to hearing what everybody has to say and what they would like to see. Um, so please feel free to message me. Um, it's always open. Um, I'm, I'm, a li I'm a listener. So let me know what you would like to see and we will make uh, season two even better. Um, the reason that we're going off the air is because festival season is starting up and there are a lot of things going on. Um, once people are, as people are getting vaxxed, then we're able to get out and do things. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I really need to be focusing on pagan pride. Right. So right. I, I really needed to shift my focus from one thing to the next. Then after um, the season is over with, I always take a little bit of a break after Pagan Pride, mm -hmm. you know, just to kind of rest and to let my mind clear. But then I always end up getting downloads and stuff and says, no, you need to be doing this. <laughs> well, I thought that your background looks a little clean for planning a festival. I mean, where's your battle map at? Oh, no, not in the, not here. No, it's, oh. it, you know, everything's in front of me. <laughs> oh, I normally, by now, normally I do Beltane. A lot of people are vaccinated enough, and I didn't have time to plan it because, you know, we didn't know. Um, so normally behind, you know, our co-producer, you know, Joseph with Mystic Compu Computers PCS, there will be a battle map of Beltane, and it looks literally like I'm running World War II, as he calls it. He knows February 1st that the battle planning begins, and the attack normally begins around the first, around, you know, by the first, you know, is D-Day, and we've got to get everything together, but I'm looking so forward to Pagan Pride. I'm looking so forward to being there for the panel i'll be there most of the day i will not be doing shotgun reading where you line up behind and i just take one right after another i'm getting too grumpy for that i'm actually going to take some time to video i have to come up and you know crown our next lord and lady of 2022 i've got the panel to come do and you know i've got all other voldemort duties i'm sure there's some souls i need to go take apart <laughs> Maybe a few unicorns that needs their horns, you know, turned into wands. We'll get there. Oh, it's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to getting back out there and and having some fun and greeting the people. And I mean, it's in the central part of the state, so yeah. it's easily accessible yeah. to everybody. I am going to be getting information as far as camping and local lodging is concerned. It is just down the road a little ways from um, 
Sutton Lake and there is a beautiful little beach there that you can go swimming on. Make a weekend of it. Have fun. Enjoy the great outdoors. Enjoy what Central West Virginia has to offer. And I'm right. really looking forward to sharing that with everybody. Right. And you know, that pops right there for those that want to stay over. The day's in there is very beautiful. Um, it's a lovely and, little place. And, and just, just about every basic food chain restaurant is there. And the custard stand. The custard stand has the best frozen yogurt ice cream. Um, nom, nom. <laughs> well, and there's a little hidden gem there. Now, if you go, instead of going over to where all the, the riffraff is, go over to the pilot side. There is an Amish store there that some of the fresh bulk herbs, fresh meats are there. You can pick, go while you're there. You can go ahead and hit the, the dish factory outlets there. And then there's this little Chinese restaurant that is delish. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the, the, the Fiesta Ware. Yeah, there. that's the dish where I was talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so bring your purses. Make sure to bring plenty of totes because if you don't find it at the festival, you're going to find it over at the Amish shop. Yes. Yes, yeah. it's a it's a beautiful area right in the central part of the state. We'll make sure that uh, that uh, every everything is set up and ready to go. We just want you to come and have have a good time, enjoy the weekend. That is August twenty eighth um, at. Uh, Holly Gray Park in Flatwoods, West Virginia, mm -hmm. in Braxton County. And for those of you who are visually prepared, it is right here, right in the central part of the state. Yep. I love doing that. I know you do. <laughs> you know, thing you have to do this way. Yeah. <laughs> so you really don't get to have fun with it. No. Anyhow, no. Um, now, tomorrow night, and coffee chat, and me and Dottie are going to sit down and have a cup of coffee and bring you guys along and talk about some industry stuff. And who knows where our conversations will go. Because, again, my, no, I don't do a script. I don't do outlines. Now, we we may take questions. We I don't know if we'll do readings. We'll see what she's in the mood for. And then you're coming on later this month sometime to have, sit down and have a chat with me. Mm -hmm. about access bars and how many bars you've accessed and you know what cell towers you have access to well, let me tell you, so i have been practicing and the the energy that i have tapped into i mean just feeling it go from my fingertips up my arms throughout my entire body and thank the gods i was grounded that's all I can say, because otherwise it would have knocked me. Just, See, that's what happens when you tap into 5G. I, I am thoroughly enjoying uh, energy work and, and helping people heal. And I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying doing, doing my own personal shadow work and healing and taking people along for the ride. So uh, mm -hmm. I'm in it. Yep. Uh, Sarah, the bars are legit. She knows because I've ran the bars on her. Uh huh. Now, so next, uh, next time I see anybody, next time I'm traveling, I'm putting the chair in the car and it's coming with me. Well, that's fine. Yes. Just if you can you. take the time out for, for 20 minutes to sit and keep your mouth shut. Me keep my mouth shut, please, honey. I normally have a list of things we have to talk about when we see each other. Okay, okay. Well, then we we can talk, but you at least need to lay there and try to relax your body. Okay, we'll try that. Okay, all right. Okay, we'll but you know, <laughs> so you know, we're all gonna right. talk, but you know, we'll be seeing each other at uh, which is in salsa. Yes. Yes, and we're talking the dip. We don't dance anymore. That's your job. You can teach me how to salsa. <laughs> that is May 22nd, and I believe they are working on having it at um, Little Beaver State Park in they May. Are. Yeah, and that's when, you know, that. Now, guys, everyone still watching, everyone watching the replay, here's your task. One, you need to like this video because we're cute. And you, we've had a good time, and this has been a great season finale. Two, you need to subscribe to whichever channel you're watching it on, because we multicast all over the place. So, 
please remember to like, share, and subscribe. You want to make sure that you're getting the notification because I'm on air two to three times a week if you're watching one of my channels. Mm -hmm. Lady Gwen's up right behind me, and I'm like, girl, get out of my calendar. <laughs> There's been a few times we've gone live. Two minutes later, you've gone live, and I'm like, knock that off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know here lately though I've been in bed by the time you you went on <sighs> I've been know, missing you yeah you well you have to get us on the replay yes I do. Point, you know we're on the Alexa we're on the Google we're on the Spotify you can take us in the car you can pass us around yeah. friends Yes, you can. I mean, I I take you in the car as soon as I get my air conditioning fixed, then I can roll up the windows. <laughs> uh huh. Yes. Um. And then, of course, guys, you know, you get daily guides for me and her. She she does trauma and terror every morning. Normally by nine a.m. There's been a few times I've been like, "Did you go to bed? <laughs> you now you're doing trauma and terror, and your hair looks better. That's bad." <laughs> Hey, I'm just I'm just trying to learn learn from you. Honey, you got to get a happy planner. <laughs> Actually, this is a project that only my patrons knows I'm working on. Let me go ahead and share it. I am working on an ASIN planner that organizes your life. Oh wow. <laughs> yes, in way too many places. We uh, are everywhere. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, uh facebook youtube um keen click for advisor well me keen click yeah. for advisor um mountain peg and nexus if you're not part of the mountain peg and nexus you need to be getting on that go over there and join because you know facebook has become you know we've even had problems tonight out of them well you know they've got a bug they've got an issue they got an update they want you to use your real name all right everybody well thank you so very much for joining us this has been a wonderful season you all have really made this a wonderful a wonderful creation uh-huh and and i i really can't thank you all enough and i cannot wait to see you all next season and but follow us and and see what's going on throughout the summer remember pagan pride's coming up august 28th be there. I'll follow Rowan Rowan Temple of Light. I'll make sure you get the information. Also have a Facebook group for Central West Virginia Pagan Pride. Um, you can go there and you get all the updates first. And sometimes um, I do put stuff up in there. And those people that are in there are the ones that help make the decisions on, on certain things. Because I really want it to be um, for the community, by the community. Right. Brenda, I just have one response. If it's with Cheesecake, honey, you can stalk me all you want. All right, y'all. Good night. All right. Thank you all. See you next season.